Hi guys, Dan and Kai here again from Crescent Mortgages and today we're coming back with some of our fan cues, frequently asked mortgage questions. Today's topic we're going to be covering broker versus direct. So should you use a mortgage broker or should you go direct to your bank? Before we get into it, just to remind you that we are experienced mortgage brokers with yeah. over 20 years combined uh, experience in the industry and we are CMAP qualified. Anything else to add on there, Kai? No. No, okay, no, great. Let's jump into that. it then. Let's go. Thanks a lot. So this, I think, is a bit of a delicate one because should you go to a broker, should you go direct? Obviously, we are brokers, aren't we? Yeah. So we're, some we're, might think that perhaps we're going to be a little bit biased. Could easily say we have an agenda. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, yeah. We, we really have tried to come at this from kind of as, as unbiased and neutral perspective as possible. The truth is that actually the, the overwhelming argument is for using a broker. So we're gonna jump in and give you um, a few of the reasons why. We'll try and give you the flip side, although it wasn't easy kind of trying to find too many positives to go and direct your bank, but we are trying to give you kind of the, the, the fairest kind of overall picture as possible. So first of all, benefits of using a broker, shoot. Surely we open up with the fact that a broker can look at more than one lender. Um, directly, the bank will look at that bank. A broker can look at um, tens and, and possibly more than 100 lenders. Um, I think it's probably the biggest the one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That, that, if nothing else, that's the one that most yeah. would go to, isn't it? Yeah. If you go directly to your bank, they've got one set of products, one set of schemes, mm. there's, and one set of, probably more importantly, criteria, which we'll come to in a second, mm. which generally they can't deviate from. If a broker has access to 100 lenders, the likelihood is that of that group of 100 lenders, they're going to potentially be able to find you, you a better rate than if you go direct. If, if your lender has the absolute best rates on the market of over 100 lenders, then you've probably got quite lucky, haven't you? Yeah. What else would we say? Um, I suppose you've already touched on there the fact that you would normally get a better rate for a broker overall, because if you go to your bank, the chances of that one bank having the best rate on the market is unlikely. Exactly the point I just made, actually. Well yeah, spotted. I thought yeah, you were yeah. just generically talking yeah, about Yeah, so um, um, for maybe touch on the criteria. Oh, that was the other one I was going to go with. Yeah, we'll go So on, on criteria, yeah. Again, your bank might not lend to you because of many reasons. Lenders have hundreds of pieces of criteria. If your bank won't lend to you, then it's a good chance often that another one will. Um, going direct, you're going to have to go from kind of bank to bank across the, the street, if you will. Most people don't have the time or the energy for that, exactly. do they? Exactly. It can take weeks to get an mm. appointment. So. You go to the broker, they'll run those checks beforehand. They'll check lenders' published criteria. They'll run affordability calculators. So before they pick the right lender, they're as confident as they can be that the mortgage is going to be agreed before they then start to run the, the credit check and submit the application and it goes to underwriting, evaluation, etc. cetera. Mm. What are the other ones? Is that everything? I feel like that was the main one. They're quite overwhelming though, aren't they? Yeah, they're, they're, they're big things. I guess um, some of the softer things are, I mean, this, we can't speak for every broker, but you, you often can kind of book an appointment with a broker mm. relatively quickly. Um, mm. And if you're keen to move forwards, then providing the broker isn't kind of overly busy, they should be able to turn around the application pretty quickly. Whereas uh, we can't speak for every bank, but a lot of our clients find that when they, they have previously contacted their bank directly, you, they're potentially yeah. taking weeks to book them in for an appointment before they can even start to look at mortgage options and an application. And if you're buying a home and you've already had your offer accepted, sometimes waiting weeks just isn't really an option because it's, it's just going to slow things down too much. Well, on the flip side then, so why would you go into your local bank? Why would you go direct to your bank? Yeah, why would you go in and, and talk to them instead of anyone else? So I suppose these are quite soft and, and I think there's a counter argument as well, but I guess the first one would be there are maybe some lenders who occasionally offer slightly different schemes to their existing customers than what you would get through a broker. I have to say this is very, very rare. Uh, it's called dual pricing and a lot of lenders don't do it. So most of them you'll get the same through the broker than you do direct through the bank. There are one or two that might give you a slightly better scheme if you go direct. Yeah, and, and, and also the flip side that yeah. some brokers will get better deals than the, the direct lender because it's easier for a bank to pay the broker to do it rather than them have to do it all themselves. So mm. again, it balances itself well. yeah. out. If yeah. anything, we'd like to think that maybe you'll get mm. more better exclusive rates through a broker than you would direct in our experience. Yeah. But at the time of filming, we can't tell you exactly how many more options there are through brokers mm. than through uh, banks and vice versa. Um, what's, what's next then, Kai? What was the other one? 
There's definitely another one. Fees. Your bank won't charge you a fee um, to provide advice to you. Should say, they may still charge you an arrangement fee mm. to get the best rate, but that's completely different. You'll, you'll pay an arrangement fee to get the best rates regardless of whether you go direct to a, a bank or use a broker. I think you're more talking about the kind of the, yeah, the, yeah. the broker fees. Yeah, I'm not you? talking about the product itself, but generally to talk to a mortgage broker, you will pay them a fee, um, hundreds of pounds, sometimes a bit more than that. Your bank aren't going to charge you to talk to them um, and, and process applications for you uh, for the advice that they may give. Well, can I counter that? Yes, you can counter that. So we should mention that although a lot of mortgage brokers do charge a broker fee, um, some brokers are completely fee free. You don't lose on the on the service. Um, they don't have less options. They just choose not to charge you a fee because actually every broker is paid a percentage by the bank at the end of the process. Um, Was there one more? Are there many fee free brokers out there? There are, well, not many. No, it's quite rare. We don't charge a fee. <laughs> Should mention that. Yeah, we don't, no. So don't we are, fee, Crescent Mortgages, we are a fee-free mortgage broker, mm -hmm. regardless of your situation, we will not charge you a fee. There are some other fee-free brokers out there. I mean, as we've said before, if, you're, if you've got a broker, you're really happy with them, you're happy to pay them a fee, we're not gonna question that. But if you, if you look around and shop around, you can find brokers with the same service, but do not charge you a broker fee on top. Yeah. Um, I think, was there anything else? I, no, I think it was the main two, weren't there? Yeah. Um, did have them written down on the whiteboard. Yeah, Do you I, have a quick look? I, I can't remember it. No. Well, they might run a credit check for you. But Yeah, I thought there was one more. Yeah. So if you go direct to a bank and they provide you an agreement in principle to confirm how much you can borrow, generally it's a standard part of their process that they'll run a credit check, um, which obviously gives you some level of confidence, well, a lot of confidence that you are going to pass their credit check. Now, if you go directly to a broker and they provide you with an agreement in principle, if you're looking for a home, this, that they, as standard, they wouldn't usually run a credit check. Um, but I guess if there are any concerns around your credit, they can still run a credit yeah. check for you, can't they? So they've still got the option to do it. Yeah, um, it's not needed often, is it? And no. Which is why a broker wouldn't, but yeah, but yeah, can be done if needed. All right, well, I think that's probably covered everything. Yeah, not so what, what, what's the answer? Done. Which one should we go The answer for? is, I mean, we're not going to tell you the answer. We've given you the, 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 the we like mm. to think the facts, you make the decision. We would say go to a broker, ultimately it's up to you. If you've gone direct to your bank, you're happy with the service, happy with the rate, absolutely fine. We're not questioning mm. that, but we're just trying to give you the kind of the, the facts to make your own decision. Um, mm. We hope you've enjoyed it. I, I did, did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And we'll see you again sometime. Thanks a lot. Yeah.